Hello everybody, my name is Sasha, this is Wendy and today we are going to show you how to draw a jellyfish. First we're going to need our paper, next we're going to need our pen. Thank you Wendy, now we can get started. Alright, so this is going to be my more simplified um, jellyfish, it'll still look very fun, it's not going to be too simple. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. This is one, if you tried the other uh, jellyfish video and it was too difficult for you, this is good. If this ends up being too easy, then try my other video. Let's go ahead and get started. I always like to show a little bit of movement and not just stagnant and up and down. So we're going to have our jellyfish curve. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with a curved line at the top in the corner. We're going to create wiggly lines. So we're going to start at the end and we're going to create a wiggle. Like this. And we're going to go ahead and draw in our tentacles. Now we want them to be different lengths so that, that way it gives a little bit more movement and it makes it a little more dynamic. So we're going to start on the side here and I'm going to draw probably just about four tentacles. I'm going to have them wiggle towards this corner. Before I draw my other one, I want to go ahead and draw the details to this one first. So right in here, I'm going to draw in different uh, sized wiggly lines. So you'll see that some of them are small, large, small. They vary all the way down and I'm following in the direction of my curved line. And as I get closer to the bottom, I am going to get a little bit smaller with my wiggles. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. The air is a little dry today. Let's go ahead and do the other side. I don't want to follow the same pattern. So if I did little ones to begin with, maybe I'll try a larger one. I want it to look different. All right, so go around. And get smaller down towards the tip, like so. Now, I'm going to go ahead and draw in my next one. I'm going to draw in a curved line. I'm going to make this one longer. I'm going to go and do the same thing like I did here. Make sure they're nice and wiggly and it's not a very simple little wiggle. You want to give it a lot of movement. Really make it something beautiful to look at. Get out of your comfort zone. <laughs> Remember, if I'm going a little too fast, you can always hit pause, and when you're ready, hit play. So it looks like I have room for one more tentacle. So let's go ahead and put this one in there. It's not as short as this one, but it's not as long as this one. And again, The wigglier you can make them, the deeper and longer the wiggles you can make, the prettier it will be, the more appealing it will be. Like this. Now, we're going to go ahead and design the top. You can create your own, you can use mine, you can use parts of mine and parts of your own. This is up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and draw little circles because this is already nice and curved. So it's a perfect area to put in a circle. 
I'm going to do another circle. The more simple objects or shapes that you put in, the more detailed and intricate it will look. Next, I'm going to go in, let's see, I'm going to do a wiggle, it's going to go, sorry, a curve, it's going to come in really far, almost touch, and then go around again, almost touch, around again, almost touch, and around again. I'm going to do the same thing. And already, see how much detail that looks like? All right, now next, let's see. I'm going to put something a little more organic because they are organic shapes. They are not man-made. Um, so let's see, let's go ahead and we'll come up to the top here. We're going to do a curved line and then we're going to come in. We're going to do a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. This doesn't have to be even. And again, the more simple shapes that you can put in, the more detailed it looks and the easier it is. Curved line. Let's see what else. Mm, I think I like it the way it is. Let's leave it like this. If you would like to add more, you can. You can add little bumps in here. Those are simple. You can add more circles, little polka dots if you want to. You can add another outline around this part. So many things and so many ideas, so many patterns. Come up with your own. I would love to see how you color this one. I would love to see if you have other little fish or other little pieces inside. That's up to you. Thank you everybody for watching our video. We hope to see you soon. Until next time, I'm Sosha. This is Wendy. Bye bye.